Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the best Steph Curry build in NBA 2K23. For the position you want to go point guard, for the height you want to keep it at 6 foot 3 like Steph and Curry, for the weight you want to put it to minimum just so you can have the highest acceleration as possible, and then for the wingspan you want to put it down to 6 foot 5 because you'll be able to have 86 perimeter defense and you'll see why we want that later in the video. For the finishing on this build you want to go ahead and put your driving layup to 85 so you will be able to get that Steph Curry layup package, and then you want to put your close shot to 67 so you get 11 finishes badges now for the shooting you want to go ahead and put your three-pointer to 92 so that way you will be able to get gold limitless range for the ball handle you want to go ahead and put that to 88 so that way you will be able to get killer combos gold and then for the speed with ball you also want to put that to 88 so you can get quick first step hall of fame on this build now for the perimeter defense you guys want to put that to 86 and that's because you want clamp silver and if you have under 86 perimeter defense you won't be able to get that badge silver then for the steal and pass accuracy and free throw we will come back to that later but for now let's go into the physicals for the speed you want to go ahead and put that to 81 and i know you're thinking that's really low for a guard but speed with ball and acceleration is what affects dribbling and that's the reason why you want to put your acceleration to 96 that's one of the most important parts of this build because it's going to help you so much with dribbling and speed boosting and the reason why acceleration is way higher than speed is because speed really only helps when you're running to the hoop without the ball in your hands to either catch a lob or do a putback dunk or when you're on defense running and chasing somebody on the fast break which you don't really need on this build because it's not like you're going to be getting chased down blocks anyway now going into the stamina you want to go ahead and max that out at 99 and going back to the steel you want to put it to 81 just because at 78 you actually do get interceptor silver and if you put it to 81 you get an extra defensive badge for pass accuracy this year bullet passer is not a badge so the higher you put your pass accuracy the faster you'll throw the ball and 83 is a good level because you will get 25 playmaking badges on this build and then for the remaining attribute points you want to go ahead and put your free throw to a 70. now that you guys have the best steph curry build in nba 2k 23 make sure to click the video on the screen right now if you want to get your shooting badges fast and easy 